How's it going everyone? It's Avi from Weather Spawn Drop 1000. Today is January 27th, 2022. As today, we're going to focus on, of course, this major blizzard that's going to impact the northeast with heavy snow, wind gusts up to 70 miles per hour, as well as major coastal flooding along the coast. So before I begin, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather lake up. Make sure to like if you like this video and make sure to turn on post notifications if you want to see even more weather lake causes. So to begin, let's take a look at this key message provided from the National weather service that just came out a couple of minutes ago regarding this snowstorm because it says some things that we really need to be aware of in the northeast so a winter storm is likely to produce significant snow accumulating to more than 12 inches across eastern long island and eastern new england friday night through sunday so there's a pretty likely chance that especially on along the east coast of new england and long island you're gonna experience 12 inches of snow um, let's continue heavy snow rates combined with strong winds could produce blizzard conditions across eastern long island and along much of the new england coast whiteout conditions could create nearly impossible travel while strong winds will likely lead to scattered power outages and some damage so it seems like i would say blizzard conditions are likely at this point while there aren't any blizzard watches issued just yet as currently they're considered winter storm watches i do eventually expect those winter storm watches uh, potentially get upgraded into blizzard warnings or at least blizzard watches uh, along the extreme New England coast and the extreme eastern portion of Long Island. And significant impacts will also extend south along mid-Atlantic coast from New York to northeast South Carolina. As you can see, we're seeing some a decent amount of snow throughout the Delmar Peninsula and even extending to New Jersey as well. So this is also something you want to be aware of. And cold temperatures will follow the storm with dangerous wind chills possible Saturday night, which is definitely true as in Miami, Florida, you could experience 30 degree temperatures for the first time in 11 years. So it's gonna get quite cold as soon as this slow pressure system moves out. And in terms of certainty and the confidence of this forecast, you know, as you know, if you've been watching the past several videos, you know that this storm has been quite uncertain until um, very recently, I'd say, where both the GFS and the European model we're taking two completely different tracks, pretty much two opposite different tracks. Well, I shouldn't say opposite because they were both confident that we'll see snow in New in and along New England, but they weren't so sure if we were gonna see as much snow further westward. However, it seems like the two computer models, while there's still uncertainty regarding the snow totals, I'd say anywhere west of Providence, Providence, Rhode Island. It's a lot more certain now that you'll probably receive a good range around three to six to maybe six to eight inches, but I'd say between maybe Philadelphia and as far east as Providence, Rhode Island, as that seems to be the current consensus. It's unlikely that you're going to receive over a foot of snow between Providence, Rhode Island and as far west as Philadelphia, and it's unlikely that you won't receive um, any snow or only one inch of snow, as it seems the like the range is now between three to six uh six to eight inches i'd say for those areas if you were to move forward you see that um the latest in fact the latest 18z run of the gfs just came out this is the first time i'm seeing it actually and wow now there's a big change we're seeing right here because if because when I first looked at this run, it was still the 12Z run and there wasn't as much snow going as far westward. But we've now, we're both now seeing the completely new change with the computer model where, where now we're seeing the GFS model bring that snow a little bit more westward, which is definitely very interesting. So I'd assume that the snow totals will move further westward along with that. And I might need to update uh, my map to be more in line with the snow totals um, regarding this next 18Z run of GFS. And you see now that the GFS mall wants to bring more snow to New England as well. So this could be more significant for the areas further westward than initially anticipating now that the GFS model is leaning more towards the European model. So this is definitely very interesting. Let's take a look at the snow totals. Keep in mind, this is my first time seeing this as well. So um, so I'm probably as surprised as you are when you're first seeing this 18Z run of the GFS model. So if we were to move forward, you, now we're seeing a big difference where before um, 
right around northern New Jersey. You guys were barely receiving around an inch of snow from the GFS mall, but now you're receiving a good area, I'd say, of one to three to three to six inches. And while that isn't different from the current forecast or the previous forecast you guys were expected, now that the GFS model is leaning more towards a westward trend, it could mean that it's going to play catch with the European model. So we might need to put more weight on the higher snow totals the European model is currently forecasting than, let's say, the GFS model. And now the GFS model wants to bring over foot of snow throughout Boston. And we're seeing the um, 6 um, to 12 inch range head further westward as well. So this is a very interesting change. New Jersey is now involved. Let's compare this to the 12Z run. And you see that it isn't bringing anywhere near as much snow. Um, as the current run model run now so it's definitely very very interesting stuff where Goodland um, that has unfolded with this 18z run so if I were to show you the guys the GFS model run from the 12z run you um, you're gonna see there's a pretty big difference so it's taking a little while to load but eventually it should be able to load up this was a forecast for the 12z run you see that the 6 to 12 inch range wasn't anywhere near as far west. You see that Boston in this scenario is receiving less than a foot of snow compared to now where it's receiving over a foot. And you see that northwestern New Jersey and even New York City was barely receiving an inch of snow from the 12Z run of the GFS model. But now the GFS model has shifted a forecast well further westward. So we could expect more snowfall here a lot um, further westward right along the mid-Atlantic and um, and it, if we were to take a look at the European model the European model is still leaning on bringing that heavy snow further westward if we were to take a look at the snowfall accumulation totals provided from the European model um, you're gonna see that the 6 to 12 inch range is a lot closer to New York City and where New York City is seeing right around six inches of snow and um, northwestern New Jersey is receiving more right around three to six inches and you see that um, eastern New England is receiving well over a foot of snow and close to and maybe over a two feet of snow right around Nantucket so very interesting stuff that has unfolded as like I said I might need to update my forecast map um, <laughs> um, in the middle of this video to really be more in line with what the um, with what the computer models are stating and what they're um, updating now that the GFS model has updated to uh, track further westward. So that's only something you want to keep in mind. I'd still say for New York City, Philadelphia, you should expect maybe around 6 to 12 inches of snow from this storm as the track has shifted further westward for you guys. And um, New and Northwestern New Jersey, around 3 to 6 over foot in Boston and over six inches of snow right now in Hartford and Delmar Peninsula now could expect six to twelve inches of snow from this storm so it definitely a big change in the forecast however snow won't be the only issue you're going to need to worry about um you're also going to need to worry about the wind if you were to take a look at the wind forecast from the um, provided from the GFS model we could see wind gusts over hurricane force especially right along the New England coast right around Nantucket right around Cape Cod you you guys could experience hurricane force winds which would easily bring out power out um, which would easily bring power outages to those regions so um, let me show you guys the forecasted wind over the next several hours you're gonna see that the winds will be quite strong along the coast and that will lead to coastal flooding you need to prepare for coastal flooding in those areas as well so if I were to show you guys the wind forecast over the next several hours once this loads up. So um, so pretty much the main reason why there's going to be a lot of wind associated with the storm is of course there's going to be a lot of instability where that dense air is going to want to attempt to filter into that lightly dense air that's located over the Gulf Stream where the warmer air is of course a lot less dense, a lot more buoyant. So that cold air, that Arctic air, that's going to bring potentially close to record breaking cold right around Miami, Florida, will attempt to filter into the warmer, more buoyant air that's um, located further eastward. And look at those winds, guys. And the millibar pressure is quite interesting too, where we're seeing the millibar pressure drop down to 969 millibars. And um, in terms of how much wind this is, you see that in the yellows, this is right around 50 knots sustained and your gusts could be well 
higher than that and a 50 knot sustained is probably right around 55 to 60 miles per hour off the coast and look at how much ocean water this wind is over so this would be just it would just um, pile up a lot of water along the coast for a major coastal flood threat to occur so it's definitely something you need to be aware of right along the northeast that there's going to be strong winds potentially power outages combined with that snowfall and blizzard conditions along the coast so pay very very close attention to that throughout the northeast so that's suddenly something you want to pay very close attention to as well and the coastal flooding will be an issue as well so make sure to pay attention to that now let's take a look at the snowfall forecast i'm expecting for the entire northeast so here is my snowfall accumulation forecast all throughout the northeast so like i said here blizzard conditions are upcoming with 70 mile per hour wind gusts possible along the coast especially more towards southeastern new england right around nantucket and right around cape cod where you could experience hurricane force wind gusts so you need to be careful over there and winter storm watches are issued but here is my snow total forecast for each city boston you should expect over a foot of snow from this snowstorm as now it's becoming a little bit more certain that you will receive at least around 12 inches of snow from this and potentially even more potentially up to 20 inches if pop um which is certainly not out of the realm of possibilities if we were to look further westward i think hartford connecticut and new york city should expect 6 to 12 inches of snow which is considered a major snowstorm for you guys so you need to prepare in those areas philadelphia i'd say you'd experience right around 3 to 6 inches of snow um and washington dc around 1 to 3 as it seems like the bulk of the snowfall will be to the northeast of washington dc but you see that you still should expect a very major snowstorm and blizzard threat all throughout the east coast so you need to prepare accordingly along the northeast coast as you could experience coastal flooding as well um, power outages are not our realm possibilities and just prepare for a major event um, as it sh this should begin right around Friday night and going into Saturday and potentially as early as Sunday morning for those for a northeastward such as in Maine so make sure to pay close attention to that all throughout the northeast but yeah guys like i said that's it for this video i think you guys watch and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more on the lake called make sure to like if you like this video and make sure to turn on post notifications if you want to see even more on the lake content and i hope you guys all have a great day